So maybe this was your house, and maybe you planted an ecosystem around your house, which is great, where all the resources, all the good stuff in the ecosystem is used by lots of things. But what about your resource flows? Where is your stuff coming from and where does it go? Is it coming from an ecosystem? Well, most of the stuff that we use is actually our food. 40% of the world's land is used to make our food and cornfields, wheat fields aren't functioning like ecosystems for the most part. They're powered by combines and by synthetic fertilizer. Synthetic fertilizer meaning plant food that's been made from fossil fuel. And they're watered in many cases by diverting rivers so that they don't reach the ocean or by drawing water out of a deep aquifer that can't be renewed because it was laid down millions of years ago and it's not getting refreshed as fast as we're drawing it out. And when we're done with our stuff it usually goes to a wastewater treatment plant or to the dump which if you look at it are kinda like resource dead ends. And when you have dead ends in a system Unfortunately, any wasted resource that isn't used by some member of the ecosystem turns into a surplus and a, and a pollution. So our air quality and our water quality and all the other biosphere services suffer as a result of the resource dead ends that we've created in the supply chains that flow to us. So let's consider some ways in which our uh, supply chains can be tied back into the ecosystem. What, what could we make from ecosystem-based supply chains? Well, to start with our food, it's surprising to realize that an enormous amount of food can actually be produced from trees, and not just fruits, but staple bread foods. One important example being uh, the oak trees, which have been the bread food, acorn flour and acorn bread having been the, the staple food for countless cultures at various times around the world like the Native Americans, Southern Europeans, Asians in various places have all used acorn flour and this stuff is produced on an order of magnitude per acre similar to the wheat and the corn that we're currently relying on and are fertilizing with all this uh, synthetic fertilizer. Nobody fertilizes the forest so how does it keep going? Well in fact it's the other trees of the forest that are providing the, the soil fertility. Trees like black locust or smaller plants like southern bayberry or, or white clover. These plants take nitrogen out of the air and fix it into the soil into a plant available form. They're doing what that what we're doing with fossil fuel. Uh, but they're you know, they're being plants. They're helping the biosphere. And the deep roots of a of a tree system are much more effective at handling drought and overloads of water and everything else that that seem to bother the grass crops that we rely on so much. Um, you don't need to irrigate a forest, um, you know, beyond the time that you first planted the trees. And then when we're done with our stuff, can we have it flow back to the ecosystem? And the answer is, in many cases, yes. We're making progress in that direction with things like the composting toilet being a very important uh, step in that direction where what we're done with, the, the nutrients that we are done with, are a resource for the next member of the ecosystem instead of being sent off to a resource dead end at the, at the uh, municipal wastewater treatment plant. Uh, the, the physical things that we use are being redesigned uh, for a cradle-to-cradle -cradle approach where they are they end up as a resource for uh, some other member of the ecosystem. Things like this compostable plastic bags that you see more of these days. When all of our stuff is redesigned in this fashion as it, as it can be, our uh, local municipal dump may end up looking more like this composting facility. So let's get ourselves back in the ecosystem. Let's redesign our resource supply chains so that they work with the ecosystem. There is all the capacity there in the ecosystem to support people, to feed the world, and we just need to make the effort to design the systems of the future that will both support and supply people 
and let the functions of the biosphere be restored. Let's plant forest gardens. Let's grow production systems that work like ecosystems.